this is Jen Mulvihill on a quest to find indie inspirations around the world. I am here with McCall Sinnott and Alexandra Clayton. Their film is presenting at the Magnolia Independent Film Festival here in Starkville this month. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi, Hi Jen. Jen. It's so good to see you and meet you. I'm very excited about your film Unpacking, which is presenting on Friday the 24th. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. it is. The Friday night showing at eight, eight o'clock, I think. Yeah. And it's a feature length. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, excellent. So um, tell me just a, just briefly a little bit about the Unpacking. Unpacking is a film about a group of women who go on a wellness retreat in Bali and kind of self-implode in their own bullshit, for lack of a better word. <laughs> it's a comedy, and um, but it also has a lot of heart. We refer to it as uh, sort of like cringe comedy, awkward and earnest. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's about... Um, it's exploring a lot of uh, aspects of the wellness culture and sort of the cringy, uncomfortable parts of wellness culture that we're, as a society, are finding ourselves moving through right now. Um, but also how when a group of women get together to work on themselves, they're they're probably going to grow. And uh, it's a very feminist film, I think. Well, when you get a bunch of women together, I mean, we're going to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Most totally. definitely. Well, I want to ask you a little bit about yourselves as well. First of all, have you, I know both of you have an extensive, um, excellent bio and you've both done films, acting, uh, writing, but have you both worked on films together before? No, this is both of our, um, this is the first feature for both of us and our first time working together. We met in New York in this female director collaborative years ago now, like, seven or eight years ago and um, just liked each other. And McCall moved out to Los Angeles. And when I was thinking of moving out here, I visited her and she was such a like vivacious <laughs> host. She was just Aww. like, great. And film's great. And we realized like we had even more in common. And then we we're sort of like, wow, it'd be so fun if we could act in something together or make something together. And then the ball sort of rolled from there. McCall had had this like untraditional idea around filmmaking um, of like a group coming together to self fund something. And then we decided to sort of partner up together and take it on. And, and um, as the project progressed, because we'd been sort of spearheading the community coming together, it became Began to feel natural that the two of us should co-direct it together, um, which was its own journey. And I'd say like the the largest way I've grown in my creative career is from this now four-year relationship with McCall going through this whole process of what it actually is to make a truly independent film together with a small crew. Yeah. And to collaborate and really what like true collaboration looks like. It's, it's like, it's a true partnership. I mean, next to my relationship with my husband, I don't, I've never shared the level of intimacy that I have with anyone with, with Ale except for Alexandra, because it's just like, there's so many, every decision, you know, it's, I think yeah. it's, it's hard to direct a film. It's, I can't speak to whether it's harder to co-direct a film because I've only co-directed a feature. I've not directed a feature, but it's, you know, you're negotiating every single choice together and you have to be on the same page. And I don't know, I'm really proud yeah. of us, you know, for, for doing that and figuring it out and still being it's like friends. Just <laughs> yeah, like yeah. what are our strengths? Let's be real about our strengths. Let's give the other one space to own their strength and step back in the areas we're not as strong. And like, what kind of code can we find where if someone's really determined to have this be an element of the film like the other one will step back and let that happen it's been amazing yeah well and it takes a lot of work and you have to you have to learn to get along because there will be yeah. times I'm guessing that uh you don't I mean that's just natural of course yeah no it's true it's um well the one thing that I think is really um really had has been the the thing that has I think we have a shared value system and I think we have shared taste and that has really moved us through in a beautiful way to kind of combat any problem that we that has arisen. Well, that's it's been such a blessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, to find out a little bit more about both of you, um, let me ask you both. I'm going to both ask this question of you. What point in time did you decide in your life that you wanted to be a filmmaker? So, McCall, when did that hit you in your life? I think it was like, it wasn't like one moment. It was sort of a slow burn. I've always, I've been an actor since I was a little kid. I started professionally acting with, I was in my, I was in my first commercial with my mom when I was seven. So I've been acting most of my life. And, um, but when I got to New York in my early twenties, I just, I think I'm, I'm an impatient person and I just wanted, I started, um, writing and filmmaking out of a desire to create the kind of roles that I wanted to play, the kind of roles that were going to stars that, you know, I thought I, I can create this for myself if it's not being given to me or if it's going to a star when I'm auditioning, but it really goes to someone that's already a name. And so it was born out of that desire to tell big stories. But I think over the years, I've just discovered that I am also a storyteller. And um, so it's just grown. And I think my confidence in it has grown as well. Like, like it does as you get older, you just, you know, one gets more confident in their skill sets. And, um, so yeah, it's been a slow burn, but I guess it started probably in my early twenties in, in New York. And what about you, Alexander? When was your pivotal moment in life? I similarly was acting from a young age, just like in my living room and in school plays and church plays and loved, loved it, loved storytelling. And then I think starting in high school, I had a group of friends that were really passionate about, we were like indie film nerds together. They worked at our local indie theater. We'd see all the films. We'd see all the Oscar films for that year. We'd talk about them. And I started really being like, I'm going to work in this world. But I was still mostly thinking it would be as an actor. And then I think it was like acting in my first projects in my very early 20s and being on some sets where... I just saw the director not stepping up into the leadership position that I thought that role should hold. And I experienced some pretty toxic dynamics. Mm. Um, So yeah, maybe at like 22, I was like, I want to get into directing because I feel like I understand what a people oriented job this is and what a collaborative job this is, and that it can be done a lot better than I'm experiencing it. And I want to learn how to do that better. So now I've been on the slow track, because it's also, it's really tricky to get something off the ground as a director. So, you know, it's like, maybe once a year, maybe every few years, like how I've been growing that skill set. And sort of owning that role has then, yeah, been a long, slow journey. (laughs) (laughs) Were there any particular films or directors or even books that inspired you at a young age that kind of impacted your life you think that brought you through this journey that you still stick with you I really love when films um bridge both like pathos and pain and comedy Mm -hmm. um Sideways is one of my favorite movies for that reason and I feel like our film is totally different than Sideways but it has that sort of it has those extreme emotions of like real guttural pain and then like real fun funny And so I feel like films like that have always inspired me because I do think like so many people, I think, put movies into certain, it's like, it's hard to categorize our movie. It is a comedy. It's also a drama. It has a lot going on. And I think, I think life's like that. Life is really messy. And I mean, you know, you laugh at funerals sometimes and you know, you're not supposed to, but like (laughs) you, you have to release that energy. And so it's, life is complicated and super messy and, um, and hopefully we're laughing along the way. So I think films that bring in that that comic element in the midst of having something real to say, not just being fluff. I've always been drawn to that kind of that kind of storytelling. Alexandra, do you want to add to that? Perhaps. Yeah, I would say, well, this is like maybe very like I was like nerdy about indie films in my teen years. I was um so moved by the work of John Cassavetes and in particular, A Woman Under the Influence at a Mm. really young age. I was like, wow, he made this with his wife and he was the cameraman sometimes and the friends did it together and they shot it over long periods of time, but then they all cooked dinner together, but they were all like so obsessed with making film. They like kept scraping together their resources and doing it. I was like, that's so much passion. That's like, what a cool life. What a cool, and then they did it again. And then they did it with the same act. 
just his whole sort of filmmaking ethos and posse and like the blurred lines between his personal life and like I just and I that that movie is so mm. raw and painful and heartwarming and heartbreaking and that had a huge influence on me and they say still does <laughs> well, I'm it's definitely wrote movie. that down because I want to watch that because I, I haven't seen that so um well, is there anything else that you ladies would like to add before we have to wrap this up? Other than the fact that it is unpacking, it's on Friday the 24th at the in Magnolia Independent Film Festival in Starkville, Mississippi. What else do you want to add? We're so excited to come to Mississippi. This yes. is going to be my first time in this part of the country. And really? Yes. <laughs> and I'm oh my goodness. a West Coaster. Yeah, I'm so excited to meet you all and meet the audience and Oh, you guys are going to laugh. I'm actually a San Diego girl and I have oh. been here for 20 years. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I was born in Hollywood and grew up all over Ventura and all that area, but uh, we're I here and I've been here for well over 20 years. So oh, wow. I I'll show you the ropes. It's easy. <laughs> the people here are very warm and friendly. That's what we've heard. We're really looking forward. Yeah. To getting to share our film and chat with people afterwards and see the other films and yeah, we're so grateful to have been invited into your community. So thank you. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for making such a wonderful film. We will see you at the Magnolia Independent Film Festival. Until then, let us keep changing the world one story at a time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Jen. Thanks.